Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing. So, we got these from Polar Pro, the Spark Filter. It's a three pack. So, what we have is a fixed polarizer, which is different from a circular polarizer, uh, which is good. And then we have a neutral density 8 and a neutral density 16 filter. Uh, for the spark. So I got to tell you guys this is cool. I was excited when uh, I saw this come out So I want to go ahead and open it up and then we'll kind of talk about it um, And so they come sealed so uh, for the DJI spark you can see that and uh, Nice packing uh, very professional polar polar pro always does a nice job uh, With stuff I'm trying to get the packaging open. Well, man, so much for not trying to tear it I don't think that's going to work. It's a little bit tough to get open. They got a little plastic tab at the top. So, uh, kind of interesting because... Uh, now, this is nice. The filters come in a case. We'll take a little bit more, look, look, a little better look at the case. Uh, so, we'll get the other stuff out here. And uh, the nice part about this is Polar Pro also has an app. There's a little bit... Uh, so we have uh, the obligatory lens cleaning micro cloth. We got some kind of sticker. I don't know. It goes on top of there. It goes on top of somewhere. It's going to go over there for the time being. And then we have some um, uh, instructions. So uh, I want to see... Okay, installa insul installation instructions. I'll spit that out. Okay, so let's see how they install. So we have a flexon frame. I thought that was the name of a of glasses. We got security pins, filter lens frame. Locate the vents on the rear of the camera by moving the camera to its downward angle. So the way it appears is we physically have to take our finger and push this down. And I think you see those vent holes. I think that's where it's going to clip into, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then it says, locate the two security pins on the filter and place them uh, into the second most outer vent slots here. Uh, three, press the filter frame down over the spark camera lens. You'll need to feel it lightly click into place. Okay, filter is now ready to use. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, also, um, it comes with this pseudo thingamabob here which is supposed to be sort of indicative of the application which you can download from either the Google Play Store or for the Apple and again um, you apparently enter the the uh, aircraft type the filter type and so ah, we'll probably go ahead and download this and take a look at that in a bit um, but to know that's there let's uh, first take a look at uh, the filters themselves now, one of the things you know, guys know I fly a lot above water, polarizing filters, uh, because I do, I've, I do and I have done a lot of still photography, polarizing filters are a must for any type of water photography. This is why I was really excited to see these guys come out with even just a straightforward uh, polarizing filter uh, to go on here. And... Uh, Okay, this just pops open. Uh, okay, so this is the polarizer. This is the 8. And this is the 16. Now, basically, what you're going to do is, is for contrast, you're going to want to use the polarizer. For moderately bright days, you're going to want to use the, uh, the 8 or the neutral density 8. That's what ND stands for, is neutral density. And then on a bright, sunshiny day, you're going to want to use the 16. Now, what's going to happen, especially with the ND filters, is it's going to slow down your camera shutter. Uh, because basically, you want to use the rule of 180 with your camera shutter. So if you're, if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, uh, you basically want to be around... Uh, you know 48 or if you're shooting at, at 30 frames or 60 frames you want to be at at 120 and because the only way to be really be at that shutter speed is to uh, you know uh, attenuate or reduce down the light so let's take a little bit of a look uh, at how as I spill screws on the floor so if we look at how the camera on the drone works we have 
uh, a sensor here and then we have an aperture here. Now this is a fixed aperture. On a normal camera what happens is this aperture uh, has an f-stop and the f-stop it, it gets larger or smaller based upon how much light you want to let into the camera and it also has different effects. However this being fixed means to adjust the, you know for proper exposure uh, really the speed of the shutter is really um, the only the, the main variable that the camera has to work with so it's going to slow that up or down now the piece is if it becomes too fast you what you're going to do is get some shutter blur uh, in this so it's better to have a slower shutter or a shutter that matches uh, the appropriate frame rate that you want in your end product so this is where the rule of 180 comes in so basically this is two times the frame rate so if we're if we're shooting at a frame rate or targeting a frame rate of 24 uh, frames per second we want a shutter speed of uh, basically 1 uh, 48th of a second or if we're shooting at 60 frames per second we're going to want 120th of a second uh, shutter speed and since we have an electronic shutter in the camera this is the speed at which the data will be dumped and collected uh, from the actual, actual shutter. So anyways, I don't want to get too too much uh, more involved in this, but kind of give you an idea of where you're going to want to use it. And so what happens is if we place this filter in front of here, this is going to attenuate, attenuate sorry, I'll spit that out, how much light passes through to the sensor, and it's going to slow down these rates because on a sunny day, you're probably running anywhere from 1,600 um, I'm going to say a thousand to sixteen hundredth of a second here and that, that's pretty fast and also it's going to uh, play with your ISO settings so again I'm not going to get into too much of that I just wanted to do a little bit of um, how this works and so what I want to do is jump back to let's take a look at the filters themselves okay so we're back and I've got the scale out so I want to put this on the scale this is the uh, the polarizing filter and it's reading about one gram so these are pretty lightweight so that that's good so I want to take I don't want to get my finger on that and I think this is probably going to be one of the harder pieces is uh, not getting your finger on it now one of the things I have the landing legs which makes it makes it a little bit nice for this because I can set it up like this see how I have it like this which is going to make it easier to work on and as we saw in the instructions when we talked about them a little bit earlier we're supposed to roll the camera head down and snap this on I'm believing from the bottom now this is going to be especially with my larger hands a little bit tougher of a feat I don't believe these are going to be easy to get on and off and there it goes it just snaps on and now one of the things I want to do is I'm going to power this on And I want to see if it goes through. Yep, it does its self-test. And uh, if I turn it up so you guys can see it, the gimbal is uh, gets kind of weird. But uh, it's on there. And I don't want to mess with the gimbal while it's powered on, so I'm going to power it back off. Um, so, again, that, that that's pretty much on there. And, uh, I, again, I don't want to tug on it, but I want to show you guys... Uh, let's see if I can't zoom in. So the, the two two fingers kind of hold into those vents uh, that are indicative here. So uh, we're going to have to uh, play with that a little bit. So I think one of the things we're going to have to see how this goes. Now I downloaded this app and I tried this app out and I was actually going to put some of it in um, in the video because I've actually got it running on this phone. But I got to tell you this I wasn't impressed with this app. Uh, I would suggest just simply, you know, a couple rules of thumb with this is again, you have the polarizer, you have the, the 4, and then you have the 16, and I believe that's what they are. Uh, sorry, no, you have the 8 and the 16, sorry about that. Uh, is, you know, again, real bright sunny day, 16, moderately sunny day, 8. Um, High, high contrast environments like water or we have a lot of reflective surfaces go with the polarizer. Uh, they don't stack so you can't use the um, 
ND with the polarizer, like in the case, I think with the, uh, maybe the Phantom 4, I know they have the screw-on ones, I think about 37 millimeter threads, something like that, don't quote me on it, but um, these don't stack, so you're going to have to use one or the other. So I'll be doing some flight testing with these, and I'll let you guys know how they work, but so far, I'm impressed. Again, Polar Pro does a good product. Uh, so I had all the confidence in the world in buying them. I'll have links below to this. This is also, um, these are also on my Everything Spark page. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a curated list of all things Spark. Uh, go check it out. I'll have the link below for that. And uh, again, I keep you guys posted here. You know how it works. Subscribe button coming up over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch down there. And hey, we'll see you the next time we go flying. Cheers.